Hello and welcome to my corner of the internet. I'm Dark Bloom and today we're going to be talking about the He's Reaching Simulator. Oh my bad. Ready or Not. So, Ready or Not is a SWAT based game. The objective of the game is to pretty much go through a map, uh, arrest suspects, collect evidence. You know, each map has different objectives, different goals. You know, the same goal is to stop the suspects, but in between that you got some other goals. And the map design i really enjoy we're gonna dive into the maps the gameplay the guns the ai and the mechanics of ready or not we're gonna be diving into all that so join me as we talk about ready or not what i like about it what i dislike about it the future i think this game has and more because i'm gonna be honest this is a fun ass game with some flaws i mean it's no swap for or anything like that but it's the best we've gotten in a long time so a plus for that so let's dive into it ready or not Ready or not has a flood of missions for you to go through, the objective being clear out the suspects, collect evidence, like I said, and make sure all the civilians are safe. It can get really intense with placements of everything being randomized or different throughout each playthrough. Uh, the number of suspects and stuff like that can change per map as well. And like, there's even one mission where you raid a pedo furry's house who just recently killed his mom. and. I don't even know what to say to that. Check this out. Top. Duty is ready. Talk reporting. Oh shit, he's got a gun. Keep it up. Well, not anymore. He doesn't. What? What in the fuck did I walk into? What the hell? High ground. Talk. Got a suspect down oh. here. Talk to entry team. Well, shit. Uh, copy that entry team. Pers Yo, bro is live streaming his death. Oh, <laughs> uh, the chat goes too. That's that's wild. <laughs> Uh, ew, dude. Fucking creep. I found his furry mask. As I mentioned before, each mission has a different premise, different suspects, you know, it gives you all that information. Others, like civilians and other things you should know about the mission. They shove that all in a nice little phone tablet you shove on your chest. And I think that's a very nice quality of life feature, especially help you get immersed into the gameplay a bit more. Another new thing with Ready or Not is the Commander Mode, and let me tell you, this is a bitch. This game mode is rough, and it is hard, and I love it. So, what is it, you may ask? It's basically Ready or Not's mission structure, condensed up a little bit, and you, you have a squad of that you can pick from, like different perks and stuff like that. The catch is, if you are a bad cop or you die a lot, their stress meter goes up. If it goes up and up, then your team morale goes down. People have to go to therapy, you don't have help, everything is just a shit show. So once you start snowballing downward, it is very hard to actually recover with your squad and get a working squad. Because you don't have all your squad slots unlocked right away, and you don't have all the missions unlocked right away. You start with one mission and go down the giant list of missions they have here, which is actually really nice. Like, there's a lot of missions to choose from. And most of them feel unique and different and like they belong there and they have a purpose. None of them really feel rehashed. None of them feel like they were thrown in last minute. Besides maybe one of them if I'm being honest. But the rest of them are good and I enjoy the missions. I did not however enjoy how hard and how punishing it is when you actually start getting on a death cycle. Because unless you like go through these missions perfectly, your squad will probably die i'm just gonna be honest like especially some missions where you go through without a mirror gun because the other missions you had no use for it even if you brought it so you just decide to take it off well guess what the next mission you might need it so you kick open the door and boom yeah yeah that might or might not have happened to me and the moral of the story is it's punishing but it's not bad because of that it adds a lot of intensity to these missions like going out with the squad knowing like if you die or whatever that it's gonna actually affect your next mission or your replay it's pretty cool and i like how they did it void interactive actually did really well with the system there's a lot of options between the weapons your loadout and uh your overall character even armor setup you can go through the armor and pick like what kind of armor you want what type of material where you want the protection etc etc there's a lot of choices with your character customization and i really appreciated that void interactive did a really good job with it a plus for that 
Now the real fun is when you start playing online with other players. The lobbies can range from hardcore roleplay as SWAT members, you know, where people take everything seriously, which is really fun, don't get me wrong, I love that. Or lobbies where you just straight up mow down everyone and everything, even the civilians. I've been in both. It's just Yeah, yeah, you can you can just murder everyone. Yeah, fuck the law, you know? So if you ever want to be a corrupted PD without spending your life in prison and murder a whole bunch of people, hey, this is a game for you, I guess. On the contrary, if you wanted to roleplay as a SWAT member, but don't actually want to do it in real life, yeah, it's a game for you too. There is a lot of missions in Ready or Not, and throughout the six years since the announcement, the games came a very long way since the beta. Very early beta at that, because it is a completely different reworked experience. The AI is annoying still, though, I will say that. You, the AI will literally block you in a corner sometimes and then tell you to move out of your way. I'm talking about your teammates' AI. And the enemy AI, they'll just shoot through a fucking wall, so yeah. Overall, though, if you're looking for a fun co op game to jump into with some friends or even random people and have a pretty intense time with high tensions and you know funny moments i'm just gonna be honest there's a lot of funny shit that goes down in this game then ready or not might be the game for you i'm having a blast with it me and a couple friends hop in and sometimes we take it very seriously and other times we just run through the whole map going pew pew so yeah it's a nice game it's came a long way and if you're into tactical shooters especially the old swat games ready or not it belongs in your library and i think you should check it out it does have its moments, but it's a fun game. That's all I really have to say about Ready or Not, and I hope you guys have a fantastic New Year's. Go ahead and slap that subscribe button. And we got more videos coming, including the next Flat Out Retrospective that I've waited way too long to finish, but that's okay. See you in the next one.